Alright YouTube, today we're going to take a look at a balloon which of course is red, uh, and this balloon is filled with helium. Because it's filled with helium, it's less dense than the air around it, and therefore it's trying to float away. So what we're going to do in this problem today is solve for the tension in the string, which is required to keep the balloon from drifting off and, and causing some kid to burst into tears. Alright, so in order to keep the balloon from floating away, the net force on the balloon vertically needs to be zero. They realize, even though the net force on the balloon is zero, there are in fact several forces acting on the balloon. The first being gravity, the next being the buoyant force, and last of course there's the tension in the string keeping the balloon from floating away. So taking each of these forces and putting them into this equation for a net force, we see the buoyant force is upward, then gravity and the tension are both downward. Now realize it's this tension we're trying to solve for. And in order to do that, we're going to need to work out our values for both the buoyant force as well as the force by gravity. So starting with the buoyant force. According to Archimedes' principle, the buoyant force is given by the density of the fluid, in this case that's the air, multiplied by g, multiplied by the volume of fluid which is displaced. Now because this balloon is entirely immersed in the air, the volume of air displaced by the balloon is in fact going to be the volume of the balloon. So subbing in our values here, we know the density of air at sea level is 1.29 kilograms per cubic meter. We know the acceleration due to gravity is 9.8. And last there's the volume of the balloon. Uh, realize that volume is based on the dimensions of the balloon. So if this is a spherical balloon, the volume is going to be given by 4 thirds pi times the radius of the balloon, that's 0.2, cubed. Next we need to solve for the force by gravity which is acting on this balloon. Now realize, the balloon is made up of two different components. The first being the actual rubber part of the balloon, which is 5 grams. The other part of the balloon is the helium, which is inside the balloon. So our force by gravity is going to be equal to the force on the actual rubber of the balloon. That's 0 0.005 kilograms multiplied by 9.8, plus the weight of the helium inside the balloon. Now realize, we haven't been given the mass or weight of helium within this balloon. What we do know though, is the density of the helium, as well as the radius and therefore the volume of the balloon. So we can use that to solve for the mass and therefore weight of helium inside the balloon. So the mass is going to be given by the density of the helium, it's 0.18, multiplied by the volume of the balloon, 4 thirds pi times 0.2 cubed. So this is the mass of helium inside the balloon. If we multiply that by 9.8, now we have the weight of helium inside the balloon. And working this out, we find the total force by gravity on everything in this problem is 0 0.109 newtons. So knowing both the buoyant force as well as the force by gravity, we can now back up here to solve for the tension in the string. And we find the tension in the string is 0 0.31 newtons. Alright, so in this problem we've managed to solve for all of the forces which are acting on this balloon which is suspended in the air. And on that note, that's all for now.